big endpoint and drop splitting. The objectives of this video are to learn how to titrate a vague endpoint and to learn the burette drop splitting technique. During a titration, when the color of the indicator begins to change, it means that the endpoint is approaching. In some cases, the endpoint is vague due to a slow, delayed, or drawn out color change. Under these circumstances, extra care must be taken to ensure accuracy. When the color of the indicator first begins to change, titrate dropwise, stopping frequently to wash down the walls of the conical flask with deionized water. When near the endpoint, use the burette reading card to read the burette volume and record the volume and indicator color into your laboratory notebook. Add titrant dropwise, touch off the drop on the side of the flask, and rinse down the flask with deionized water. Read the burette and record the volume and color. Continue adding drops and recording the burette volume and indicator color in your laboratory notebook until the indicator color remains constant. Drops can also be split by opening the stopcock partially, allowing a drop to hang from the tip of the burette, and washing it into the conical flask using deionized water. Since the burette can read to 0.01 milliliters and a drop is 0.05 milliliters, splitting drops is helpful for accuracy. Continue adding drops and record the burette volume and indicator color until the indicator color remains constant. The endpoint is then identified as the burette reading in your laboratory notebook that corresponds to the greatest indicator color change. The volume of titrant delivered is the difference between the final and initial readings.